Now, believe it or not, the sight of someone else being ill can actually make you feel better, according to new Canadian research. Uh, they, uh, the study showed that si seeing somebody who is clearly unwell stimulates our own immune system so that it produces more antibodies that combat disease. Now, this news may well hearten commuters who have to deal with others coughing and sneezing all over them on a daily basis. But um, how are we when it comes to uh, people around us suffering with minor illnesses? Does it bring out our compassionate side or does it send you running for the hills? I've gone. You can't see me for dust. <laughs> I, I, I just don't like it. I don't like pull. I don't like contagious. That's what I don't like. <laughs> so anything else says, you know, they start coughing all over you and I'm like, I'm out of here. Because, you know, I've got a job and I'm a singer. I can't have a cold. There's no understudy for a Jane McDonald concert. No. So, uh, you know, it's, it's true, isn't it? I can't. I've got to cancel it, you know. So, so Ed's at home really poorly. Yeah. What do you do? Spare room. <laughs> yeah. Ed Shed. Ed Shed, yes. Or drown my mums. You know? I agree. With, I'm with you, although I'm a little bit kinder than you. I'll give them a bit of time. There's a time limit on it. It's a, you're real. I'm so sorry, but if it goes on more than a week, that's it. Mm. And it's and a it's long time. Well, yes, it is, I suppose. But I, I do try, but then I lose patience. I'm a bit like you. <clears throat> I say, do you want to go to the doctor? I'll make you an appointment to go and see the doctor. And if it's like, oh, no, I can't, I've got time to go to the doctor. So I'm, well, you know, you're ill, that's it. Put up, shut up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is that a bit unsympathetic? <laughs> 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 that unsympathetic? I tend to have this kind of, I don't know, arrogance, I suppose, around ill people in as much as I think I've got such an amazing immune system, nothing will penetrate it. And I tended, certainly before Ben came along, never to be ill. Mm. You know, honestly, I could be... I could be around any kind of disease and it would just float over me. It was brilliant. So I, I, I became almost a little bit, I don't know, facetious in the face of it. Mm. Now I've got a baby who brings every germ home from, from nursery. I'm constantly ill. I've never blown my nose so much in my life. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but you that's know that thing story. about man flu, though? I do have to stand up for Mr Spain here. He's a plucky little fellow. <laughs> Is that right, he Linda? Goes, yes, he goes forward and he carries on. I'm oh. impressed with that for a moment. I like that. I can't stand these people that are off with split ends, can you? Oh. <laughs> Broken <the> flask. <laughs> <laughs> nice to know, Linda, that he, he's, he's a man about that. Yes, yeah. lucky. With his handbag. With his oh, handbag, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lucky little chat with a handbag. <laughs> <laughs>